Let's pull up board Nunu. He's jumped off the porch with dirty glove bastard. Oh wait. I just bought me a stick and it came with a dip trying to knock off his clip with these hundreds and fifties. Reach for my pen that I knock off your fit in my lawyer on All right, we got Polo Boy Nunu off the porch with us today. Hey, for sure. How you feeling today, man? Chilling, man. Cool in the A. I'm enjoying yeah. the A. Yeah. yeah. Visiting us from uh, Indianapolis. Nap what are you working on here in the in the Nap time, man. Just work for period. I just got off parole, man, so I'm able to move around again. So oh, I'm shit. just touching bases in all the cities that, you know, got yeah. the music going on. Okay. You just celebrated your 18th birthday, too, yeah, right? Yeah, so three days ago. Yeah. What'd you do out here? Shit, nothing really. It's just a work trip, man. My birthday was celebrated at home, really. So okay. Putting the work in. Nah, that's what's up, man. How do you like working out here in Atlanta compared to back home? Uh, I can say it's better production, you know. The scenery's kind of better, though, but, you know, it's better It's, it's better all around because, you know, it's out of town. So it's a sound I ain't heard. Okay. Yeah. I saw on IG, he was in the studio with 21 Savage, yeah. Metro yeah. Boomin', Sunny Digital, ATL Jacob. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What was that experience like for you? Just, you know, soaking up game, you know, from people that accomplished a lot. So I'm just, you know, sitting around trying to see how to become the next millionaire. Yeah. No, that's real right there. That's real. What have you been up to during the quarantine? You been staying out the way? Or? I don't believe in quarantine. We working. Like hmm. My game, my PBN, we, we getting it in. We ain't. And no quarantine for us. Hmm. And um, w what's your thoughts on the George Floyd killing and the protests that are going on right now? Uh, it's crazy, man. Like, it's just, you know, something new in life. But this is, this probably got took a little bit more serious. It's something I got a lot to focus on. So my prayers go out to them, but I got a lot of shit going on myself. So yeah, I ain't feeding, I ain't protesting. Hmm. Has there been a lot of protests uh, back home? Yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere. They crashing out. <laughs> on the same bullshit. Yeah. So what's life like in Indian Indianapolis right now? Bro, the jungle, like, just like any other trenches, but I feel like my city churches, man, like, it's, you go to make it out of there. Like, I don't take nothing for granted because to make it out of there is it's a real challenge. A lot of people got to that peak, but, you know, they fumbled at that finish line. So it's a challenge making it than that. Yeah. How old were you when you first jumped off the porch? <sighs> I'll say... 12 or 13, like officially when I start doing shit myself, but mm -hmm. I've been watching this shit. My uncle's gonna do this shit since I was seven or eight. I've been around the environment, but when I took matters in my own hands, it was probably about 11 or 12. Yeah, yeah. What's one of the biggest life lessons you learned in the streets? Uh, going to jail, like catching a case. Like they humbled me to a whole different way. Like mm -hmm. all the high head shit I got on, like when I did time, I was in Louisiana, oh, Baton sure. Rouge. So I was 13 hours away. So it made me buckle down and really, really realize what's going on out here. Mm. What they lock you up for? Uh, I was locked up for armed robbery. I, I had a couple of charges that I didn't commit, but I was locked up for about 11 to 12 charges. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it was like, they was all level twos. Level, high, smallest I, the smallest I had was like a level three, but all mm. my shit was level twos. True. How much time did you do? I uh, only, did, only did 13 months, but I got paroled after nine. And I stayed on probation, obviously, until I was 18 and got okay. freed off of juvenile. So, so you're fully done with it now? Uh, I'm fully done with juvenile, man. Yeah. So okay. my, my slate is somewhat clean. <laughs> somewhat. Now I just got to stay that way. Stay you know? that way, yeah. Yeah. How long you been rapping now? Uh, I've been rapping like, I could say I've been rapping for a minute, probably like since I was like nine or 10. But hmm. I took it serious like right before my bed, right before I got locked up. Okay. It, then even more serious when I came home when I found out how much money was into it. So, absolutely, yeah. Um, who were some of your uh, musical influences? Pop, Michael Jackson, uh, a lot of the you know hip hop rappers and shit. There, a lot of basically all the niggas that was rapping about G shit growing up. They was <laughs> rapping about doing some violent. I grasped onto. Yeah. And you know your shit's been taken off here these last year or so. Um, in seven months, really. Seven I, months, yeah, really. I've been home for seven months, so hmm. that's when everything sparked off. So I had a short period of time out, but it's going good. Though. Have you been surprised at all how quickly it's moved? Yeah, for sure. It's overwhelming. Like when you from my city, my city is not a music state, so mm -hmm. a lot of music and rappers don't blow up from out of there. We got actors and shit like that, but it ain't really like big on music. So for me to get this much attention from the music is at this age, and it's, it's lit. Yeah. And, and I know a lot of uh, labels have been reaching out to you, too. Yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> more, than, more than enough. If you were to sign, what would it take to sign you? Uh, really, man? 
it, it all depends on what I get to keep and own. Like I am pressed about money. Like my CEOs and my and my team, they got money. They got plenty of money. So it's like to my main thing is owning something. So when I sign any papers, I'm trying to see what my marriage is looking like, royalties, all that type of shit. Yeah. See if I own that, then we can talk about what I get up front. Yeah. But that's the main thing though. No, that's real right there. And yeah. the hotter do you get, the more leverage yeah, you get I know, as well too. I know for a fact that like what like like what the OG told me was like it ain't the offers ain't gonna never stop coming. So mm-hmm. by me just starting out, I don't see myself settling for nothing. You feel me? I still gotta I'm not even in my prime yet. So yeah. I still got more people to to meet, more shit to experience. Yeah. Since you've been blowing up, have any uh, family or friends close to you started to switch up, started to feel yeah, that that hate? shit happened. <laughs> That's crazy. They can vouch for that. My people can vouch. But <laughs> that shit that I'm prepared for, that I've been preparing for, and that people in my ear, that's what they tell me to watch out for. So it ain't it ain't somewhat surprising because I kind of expect it to happen. Hmm. That's real right there, man. That's real. Um, so Polar Boy Nation. Yeah. That's your label, right? My shit. Yeah. So th- how'd you come up with that? Uh, PBN was like, cause I'm Polo Boy, so I'm like, when I was in jail, I was just thinking of something like, when I come home, cause the camp that I was that I was repping the shit, it got hot, and we was going through a lot of shit. So I'm trying to like, what can I come home with that could stand for me, and that you know that it'd be a good face for music. And I just kind of put it together like shit, PBN, cause Polo stand for players only live once. Okay, yeah. You know my big brother slash uncle, and Nanny made that up, and you know a lot of OGs from my hood kind of ran with it, so. I just grasped onto it yeah. and made it a foundation. Hmm. Any other artists on the label or is it just you right now? Nah, it's just me, man. Okay. It's just I got a couple of niggas that rap though, but as far as our shit in my camp, I'm the only I'm the only uh rapper. Okay. In the future, do you look to develop and sign some? Yeah, for sure. For artists? sure. Like especially when I start rapping, because I don't plan on doing this shit forever. Hmm. Once I get a not enough amount of money, I'm almost definitely have a, a label for the artists. Okay. Yeah. And sign them the right way. Yeah. So talk to us about the music scene in Indianapolis right now. Uh, it's it's cool, man. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of competition. Like when I say that, I mean like it's a lot of niggas that fly. They got to compete against each other. Hmm. So like the, the music in the city, man, it's kind of like who thinks this person better or, or or pick a side. If you fuck with this person, you can't fuck with them. Like my city kind of backwards with the music right now, but like it's a lot of selfish shit going on, and a lot of dick riding and biting, flow biting and shit. But it's we got the potential to really become, you know, a, a state like Atlanta, and really because we got talent down there. Like, yeah, there's plenty of talent from from the females to record, video shooters. And, uh, we got a, a gang of talent, but you know, don't nobody want to stick together. Hmm. What's it going to take to get over that hump? Is it just yeah. everyone to come together? And I unite? think I got to really just set set the ground and really open doors. And, you know, really, you know, make it make it far in life and really still give give back to the nap and really give motherfuckers hope. Yeah. They can do that shit. I think it'll come together sooner or later. It's just rough right now. It ain't never been done. So I can't really be surprised that it ain't never been done in my city. So hmm. once I do it, hopefully, they yeah, get on point. Yeah. What about the DJs out there? Are they real supportive of uh, the local artists? Uh, they, they are, but a lot of DJs, they old. Like, hmm. they a lot of old niggas, man. So not a lot of them, or, or some of them I don't really know, know that well, but the ones that I know well, and shit, they they older they older DJs and shit, but they most definitely fuck with me and show love. Okay, have you seen uh, the city start to get behind you since you've been blowing up? Somewhat, man. Like it's most definitely love and that. Like they most definitely give me my courage and motivation. But you know, you, you know, you know what comes when you when you hot. Everybody don't really be with the with mm-hmm. the plan, but I can say my city behind me though. Yeah, any plans to move out of the city? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You can't really. Expect to be successful if you if you stay in an environment that that always brought you trouble though. Not to say that you don't gotta never come back, but to better yourself, you know, you're gonna have to leave. You have to leave for a period of time, whether it's for a year, a month, two months, however long it is, just to you know separate yourself from from not being in the mix all the time. Yeah, where would you go to? Would it be here in Atlanta? Would it be L.A., New York? I don't, I don't really, I really wouldn't know though. I wouldn't really, it ain't really a stamp place. I feel like I'd just always be able to move around. I won't really be sitting in one spot because yeah. I'd be so busy. So I'm pretty sure I had houses in a lot of states sooner okay. or later. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. All right, let's talk about your uh, project, uh, Blank Check Kid. Masterpiece. <laughs> Blank Check Kid is probably one of my, my best projects so far. Like, we kind of really, like, I released a, uh, uh, or, or was about to release a project before, but 
our team wasn't feeling it. And they felt like I could do more. So hmm. caught a new case and shit, man. And, and when I came home, Blank Check was like kind of formed together and like he got some time put into it. So yeah. he got me some numbers. How's the feedback been so far? Uh, I got like over, I got over 200,000 streams uh, okay. on Apple Music and shit. So it's most, for my first album, it's most definitely going yeah. out the park. So yeah. yeah. And I saw, um, I was trying to count, but I saw at least 10 music videos in the last two, three months you've dropped. 10? I said at least 10. 15 or something. Yeah. Three months, that's a, lot. That's, that's a long time, man. Three months, I think I did probably about like 10 or 15. I shoot videos like niggas change clothes. <laughs> like I'm consistent with that. Is that your plan to kind of flood him with uh, the that's visuals? Kinda, that was, that's my method, man. I keep it a secret, man. But I kind of, I know people catch on. Like, that's yeah. my, that was my hitting the, hitting the ground running method. Like, videos and songs, everything new. Like, stay in their face. That's all I love. And it got me good feedback. Yeah. What's the single that you're pushing right now? Uh, I ain't pushing no singles, really, man. I don't got, uh, what, Smoke With Us. I okay. released a, a new video called Smoke With Us. It'll yeah. be on all platforms within, within a week or so. But that's probably the real, the recent single that I got. Okay, and that was not on the project, right? No, it wasn't on the project. Smoke Brothers wasn't on there. It was like a bonus track for it, though. Okay. Who were some of the producers you worked with on that project? Uh, it was kind of like, uh, I know Matt Rifle. He produced. He kind of you know went over the whole thing. But it was Fresh Does It, and a couple other producers. You know, that was from the city. Most of it was you know it was kind of Indian Indianapolis production. So okay, most of the producers. Well, all the producers on earth from the city. Yeah. So uh, that's tough, right there. You don't yeah. hear too many, you know, projects having everyone produced from one city, especially yeah, like that's, that. That kind of was like, you know, that should really show how much, you know, I'm, I'm still gonna be with the city regardless, because you know, I, and then and on, on, another thing was I wasn't able to travel, so most of my music had to be done there, so I needed their production. I couldn't leave the state. Yeah. Did you have a personal favorite song on the project? Uh, Cemetery Talk. Mm. Why that one? Cemetery talk, it just it just lets you know who I am. It just lets you know how I'm coming. Like I feel like that song right there is like it's it's party rocker, it's, it's all over. Like that's my golden song on the tape. Rock in the Jeep too. Okay. I got a favorite for that. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough. I was listening to that one, Mark. Um are you working on a new project right now? Uh I'm working on some all the time, but I, I kinda wanna go over with my team and see if we're gonna do a deluxe or something or a sequel to Blank Check, or hmm. if we just gonna, you know, wait. Wait to wait to shit play out and just you know keep releasing videos and singles. Okay. Up until my next project. So. Yeah. Been working with any new artists lately? Uh. Somewhere it's in Atlanta so far. I got a a, a song on the way with Twenty One Lahir. He on Twenty One Savage label. That's one yeah. of his artists too. And just you know I'm still t- kind of tapping in. Okay. Trying to get in tune with the A. So I plan on doing a lot of songs with a lot of new artists, hmm. industry and local. That's tough right there. Um, what about producer wise, who you've been working with lately? We know uh, he was in there with ATL Jacob. Yeah, yeah for, for sure, for sure, man. I'm I'm looking forward to locking in with him. Like we had some we had some Sunder and Larry. And just like Z Boy the producer. He was he another producer that's on Savage Label, like mm-hmm. linked up with him. And most of these new producers are all here. Okay. So this is the first that I came to off the of parole. Yeah. What's some of your long term goals for your music career? Starting a label, man, making a good enough amount of money to fall back from that shit and get some real estate, houses and properties and shit, man. Just kick back. Yeah. What else you working on? I want to do, I'm working on like some, some whole different type of, my plans for my videos coming up and my visuals, I want them to be like skyrocket, like different mm. from anything that ever came out of the city or some shit that ain't been done. So mm. I don't know. I've been putting a lot of thought into my visuals more than the music kind of. Uh, yeah, that definitely helps separate you from everyone else. It too. most definitely does. Like, you know, because some music don't be good to everybody's ears, but if your music videos are something good to watch, then that'll run your streams and views up too. Yeah, kind of give them the whole package. Give it. them the whole package, man. Yeah. They like the song in the video, so win win. Yeah. All right, Polo. Any last words, shout outs before we get you out of here? Man, shout out Fortunate Few players, you feel me? PBN, all the gang members, Free Goonie, not getting it raw and uncut. I'm out there, folks. That's how it is. I just bought me a stick and it came with a dick Tryna knock off his click with these hundreds and fifties Reach for my pen that I knock off your fitted My lawyer on deck as I ride with a sentence Niggas and bitches got me